Oh. <clears throat> Thanks, Kirsten, for donating to Yes Youth Emergency Services Omaha and supporting my mustache. This is rhubarb. Raw. No sugar, no salt. Oh. How is that? It's very, uh, it's not sour. It's not the right word. Mm. Tart? Earthy? A critic? Mm. Astringent. Astringent. Good vocab. Astringent. Um, it reminds me of balls. If you take like <laughs> <laughs> the parsley, like so uh, for Passover, you're supposed to take like parsley and you dip it in salt water and you eat it, and that's sort of what it reminds me of. Ooh, so it's salty. Is it yeah. salty? Sort of. We could put it in a Bloody Mary for you if you want. Mm. If you peel it, you still have to eat it. <laughs> you should Google it now. It's also very fibrous. I wonder if it's uh, related to the celery. for you, buddy. <clears throat> the drink that tastes like gash. <laughs> Got pretty tart there, did it? Mm -hmm. There's like a lot of liquid stored between the fibers, and that's the, the tart, sour, bitter, salty stuff. But then you have the fibers left over, and it's just like swallowing a giant pill. Or grass. Or grass. Yeah. Now that you've got it halfway through your system, uh, this is what WebMD says about rhubarb. Rhubarb is likely safe when the root is consumed as food. It is possibly safe for most adults when taken by mouth in medicinal amounts for up to three months. Rhubarb can cause some side effects such as stomach and intestinal pain, watery diarrhea, that. uterine <laughs> contractions, <laughs> oh, good luck, buddy. Long-term use can result in muscular weakness, bone loss, potassium loss, and irregular heart rhythm. We don't have to worry about long-term use. I'd be more worried about the watery diarrhea, buddy. Mm. <laughs> you make really funny facial expressions. Sorry? No, it's like funnier than any of the other foods you've eaten. Your facial expressions are really funny. There is a report of kidney failure in someone who took a product containing rhubarb, but is not known if it was the rhubarb that was the actual cause of the kidney failure. Yeah. Ah, special precautions and warning. Diarrhea or constipation. <laughs> Rhubarb can make diarrhea or constipation worse depending on the preparation used. It doesn't say if you should cook it or not. Mm. Mm. You don't have Crohn's disease, right? Not yet. <laughs> Better or worse than Pokemon Challenge? 
Mm. It doesn't make me want to vomit. Not as bad as coconut. Well, we'll find out. Well, you did buy the organic stuff, so you might get E. coli. Mm. That's probably where the diarrhea comes in. Mm hmm. Chilada? Oh, Lord. That was weird. You want a bucket? Mm hmm. Getting more sour towards the tip. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 yeah, get it all in there. <laughs> Is that rhubarb in your pocket, or are you happy to see me? It's in my mouth. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to you doing this next year. <laughs> <laughs> that look. <laughs> Yeah, some of it, like, you just can't chew it anymore. Um, so it helps swallow it. Fair enough. I don't want to. Oh, oh, keep it down, buddy. You're really red. If you gotta take a run to the sink, run to the sink. I'll hold the GoPro. You're okay. You're okay. We'll see. <laughs> Try not to puke on my dog. You can do it. Got that out of the way. So everybody, if uh, you have an idea that I will enjoy eating as much as that, head over to www.m4komaha.com. Donate at least twenty-five dollars in my name, and let me know what your idea is. And uh, you better hurry because the growing season is coming to an end.